Hey, what's up guys? My name is Liam and today I'm going to give you 10 things that are very unique about America that some Americans don't actually know. So this list is made up of some weird things and some really cool things about America that just kind of make it a little bit different from the rest of the world. So first off, I've actually been living here in America for two years now. I'm in the Central Coast, California, not LA everyone that likes to comment on my videos saying, oh, that's only an LA thing. No, I've been all over California, north and south. I've been Oregon, Idaho, Utah, Colorado, Nevada, and I'm sure there's another one in that circle that I've missed. You'll know, probably Wyoming. Here's some things that I have kind of discovered over the last two years that I think is either cool or a little bit strange that you guys don't even know that it's like not normal. So let's get started. So just before we say the very first one, I quite possibly have the biggest bean bag in America. This thing is absolutely massive and it takes up almost our whole entire lounge. I was searching for a love sack. If you don't know what that is, it's possibly the world's comfiest bean bag. And I found something that was extremely close to it. And I got the extra large. And on me, it sits about this tall when I'm standing. And you sink right into it. It's all out of memory foam. All right, anyway, let's get started. So the very first one is about tipping. So tipping is not really a big thing at all in most of the countries that I've been to. I know that Russia, um, Germany, and France do tipping. Like, most of it does tipping. Uh, but America, that's like how uh, the waiters and staff make majority of their money. And yeah, in New Zealand, our minimum wage is like late $16.00. So we don't have tipping. I know that when I started in a bakery, I started at seventeen fifty, and that was like the starting wage for us. So yeah, that's number one, tipping. Okay, so number two is actually college sports. So college sports here in America is absolutely massive. You guys celebrate like crazy just for like a college game. Like one college versus another college when they play football together. It's like a huge deal and it's gonna be on TV and yeah you guys celebrate it far too much than it should be it's really cool like being able to see all of these kids actually play you know all the under 21 kids but it's just celebrated like crazy here so before we move on to the next one please go check out my Instagram I'm actually off to New York in a week and if you'd like to go see our adventure there in New York go hit up the Instagram and also leave a comment down below what's the best thing to do in New York. So number three is actually free refills. In New Zealand, like most of our ver like fast foods would have free refills, but not really for the restaurants. Um, when you go out to a restaurant, you buy each drink that you have. So whenever I get like a Sprite um, in a restaurant here in America, they'll take my glass away when it's only like maybe 30% drunk and they'll go refill it and just bring it straight back to the table without me asking and yeah it's kind of crazy but i love it that's like something that's amazing so the fourth one is actually going to be about the metric system i'm pretty sure that the metric system is only like an american thing maybe canada not too sure um and the metric system is just a mess there is one image that I love, which I'm going to place like right here at the moment. And it's really easy to see the difference between metric and imperial. So imperial is super, super easy to learn and it makes sense. One centimeter is 10 millimeters. And then 100 centimeters is one meter. And then 1,000 meters is one kilometer. So it all has like zeros at the end. Whereas I, I need to look it up just to read it. For inches to feet, it's like 12 inches is a foot. Then three feet is one yard. Then 1,760 yards is a mile. And then 16 ounces is a pound. Like it's just completely, I don't know, it's... It's odd. I don't like it, which 
I want to say number five is the way that you guys lay out dates. I still cannot get used to it. So in America, if you don't know, you always put the month first. So today is the 31st of January, 2018. So you'd put 1, 31, 18. In New Zealand, you always go day, month, year, or the rest of the world actually, sorry, day, month, year. Whereas it's month, day, year here in America. Um, that's something that tricks me up when I'm at work. Like I'm on a phone with a customer. I'm like, uh, yeah, we're going to be delivering it on September 8th. And they're like, wait, what? That's next year? Like, oh, whoop, my bad. Yeah. Hey, so actually, if you like this painting right here, that was done by my wife. She actually has a channel called Painting Miss Daisy. It's this one right here. Go check it out if you want to go see how she painted that. She does tutorials for paintings. It's really cool. So number six, I actually love. You guys supersized everything. So you get so much bang for your buck. So New Zealand's like biggest McDonald's drink, I believe, is 16 ounces. That is a child size here. Your biggest one, I believe, is 31 ounces ounces and we're not only talking about fast food when i go out to like a seafood restaurant here you'll get just so much more seafood so in new zealand i paid a hundred dollars for a kg of crab legs at a restaurant and here we go to a place in pismo beach where it's like one pound of crab legs for about 25 dollars it's amazing. Even the motor vehicles here are huge and supersized. There's some utes that you need ladders just to get into, and then you've got utes that have double, like four wheels on the back of it. I have no idea why that's even necessary, but it's awesome. So number seven, I think, um, you guys call your bathrooms restrooms, and we call ours bathrooms, but that's not the thing. Your guys' restrooms have no privacy. So when you go into the bathroom and you close your doors, you can like still see outside of the cracks. And then it's like super high off a floor and super low off a roof. So it's just like no privacy. So if you guys come and visit America, that's probably gonna be one of the very first things that you notice. Um, yeah, there's just no privacy in the restrooms and the water level in the toilet is super, super high. You may think it's all like clogged up, but nope, that's how it is. And I remember mentioning that in a video that I made probably about a year, year and a half ago, like differences between America and New Zealand. And there was lots of comments from American people saying, it's so that the water doesn't come and splash up and touch you. That's why the water level's so high, which makes no sense. If it's down lower, yeah, there's more of a splash. I don't even want to talk about this. Let's move on to number eight. So, I hate pickles. Number eight is about pickles. There are pickles on everything. Whenever you get a burger, like Red Robin, McDonald's, any fast food or any restaurant, there's going to be like a pickle on the side of your plate. And we're not talking just like slices of pickle. There's like a full pickle. It's very odd. I hate pickles. Okay, last one. Number 10. I'm pretty sure that this is only a California thing, but there's no sales tax on the display. So that means when I go into like Best Buy and I see a fridge for $2,500, you then need to figure out what the tax is on top of that. So really, you're not going to be paying 2500 you're going to be paying about 2700 I don't know why you don't show it. I don't know why. Like, there's no reason not to show it. If you know, leave a comment down below. So that's going to do it for this episode. This is going to be 10 strange things about America that some Americans might not know about America. Perfect title. Um, please follow the channel. I'm going to New York next weekend. And I think I'm going to make a video there. I was just talking to my grandma last night and she said that she'd always wanted to see New York. So I'm actually going to make a video basically for her just showing, you know, things that we get up to in New York. And please, if you have ever been to New York, 
leave a comment down below of like what you think the number one thing is to do in New York because I would love to go try it. At the moment, we are staying right next to that massive park at the end of the street at the Times Square. Um, so we're going to the Times Square, the park, and then there's like a, a quite popular ice skating rink. I can't remember the name of it. Something Arena. Um, but yeah, we're going to go do that. So add on to the list of things that you think are must-dos.